for the man who is called head of the house but yet he is not allowed to use his head gets the fish head <laughs> what a saying what a saying fish fry and specially raw fish you buy like 2 and 1/2 kg fish and then cut nice dance the head pieces we going to make fish curry but these pieces you got to marinate with special spices and these special spices is very very simple here ginger garlic paste red chili powder coriander powder and turmeric we love the flavor of hing squeeze in lime juice and add salt add oil and mix all of this and this will become a kind of a thick paste take fish pieces and just apply little bit don't worry lot of moisture will come out of the fish slowly so put the fish pieces on the side take another piece make sure you coat the fish properly fish should not be marinated for a long time sprinkle some coriander apply the masala and if you keep it in the fridge you can keep for couple of hours fishing is one of my favorite hobby but nowadays i don't get to do much but when i was in chicago i used to go to florida and specially in the clear water beach and all that we used to go deep water fishing and uh, it used to be so much fun but at least i get to eat sea fish now here is the onion that should be burnt outside it should become black when you cook it on a slow flame like this for at least like 7 8 minutes the onion inside will become soft we're going to cook the fish curry in the pot grandma style today for this fish curry i'm going to use telangana and tamil nadu style of fish curry you know remove all the burnt part and this onion we're going to put in a blender and we're going to make a paste this gives a very awesome smoky flavor for the fish curry add oil in this when the oil is hot add mustard seeds when the mustard seeds splutter add methi dana that is fenugreek seeds in this add curry leaves you know i prefer to add lot of curry leaves in this at the same time the burnt onion paste is also ready in this let the curry leaves splutter add the burnt onion paste add turmeric chopped ginger or even you can add ginger garlic paste and first let this masala cook for few minutes in this add green chili i'm going to add chili powder in this add coriander powder and add tomatoes just for this much one big tomato or two tomatoes small should be enough and cook this masala till some of the oil comes out add salt in this add tamarind juice and this is what will become fantastic gravy for your fish add water and bring it to the consistency you want put the lid on and let it boil it the more it boils the more tastier it gets i'm going to put fish heads head pieces and the gravy will become even more tastier with this fish head we have already cooked the curry after you add the fish all you want to do is just simmer it for like 5 6 minutes and then switch off the flame slowly in the same heat the fish has to become nice and soft and later when we serve this fish curry it is going to be wa 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 once you add the coriander the fishy flavor becomes more fragrant and actually it is going to smell awesome whenever we cook in the house everybody will have a request my son wanted to eat palak dal with fish fry you know it's his taste so he wanted so here the tempering the mustard seeds little bit of cumin and in this add red chili red chili will give nice flavor for the dal so let this red chili kind of slightly saute in the oil in this add garlic add some chopped onion some green chili little bit of turmeric and just saute it just add some tomatoes and in this add spinach that nice aroma garlic and spinach and tomato my favorite in this i've cooked the tuvar dal in the pressure cooker mix add salt i always love to add little bit of butter so butter in this will make this even more tasty and this is ready to serve the beautiful the spinach dal is nice and ready aha wow put the fish pieces the thinner side outside so that way it will cook better and on the medium heat always add very little oil cook it 
on a medium flame till you achieve this beautiful color. So each piece, cook it on both sides till it is well cooked and ready to serve. So look at this beautiful fish, such wonderful fish. Ek, do, teen, char, panch. Teri karu, uh, 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 uh. Teri karu, uh, 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 uh. Everything is ready and each one of them will taste so excellent. So it's the time to call Queen Victoria. And here the Queen Victoria chooses her piece. Don't jump into the fish gravy yet. First enjoy the fried pieces. Only then we will graduate to fish curry. I like raw fish. It is nice sweet flavor. And amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Even in fish curry, there are certain pieces near the head that has literally no bones. So, and this gravy, oh, Uncle John. Mm. very nice, very tasty, cooked in a pot for the man who is called head of the house, but yet he is not allowed to use his head, gets the fish head. <laughs> what a saying, what a saying. Some of the rice that is left over, I am going to enjoy tomorrow morning. Even with a fresh chapati dish fish curry, oh my god. And this fish egg is so amazing. You have to, once it crumbles in your mouth, the positions have changed. The quantity eater gets to sit. When you eat this awesome food, all you need to do is ding chicka ding chicka ding chicka ding chicka.